Page 30, a very special day. At the top of page 30, they're showing you another base pattern. This comes in handy. If you want to improvise, this is one of the patterns you can use. It's just a broken chord. Watch the fingering. You can finger pedal that first note in each of those. They show that sort of in the second line where you're just holding the first note down. That's not as important when you have a pedal, but it's good for feeling it. Because you can feel that. I've, I finger pedal this quite a bit. This type of pattern, I finger pedal the first note. Whether I'm using real pedal or not, because I can feel it with the fingers better. So, I want to talk about a little, point out a few little things here. Starting with the right hand. By now I shouldn't have to talk about rhythms. I'm hoping you've got these rhythms. If you don't, you need to be asking me, please, I don't understand the rhythm. Somewhere. Wherever it is, you don't understand it. But there's a few fingering things I'd like to point out. It's straightforward at the beginning where the right hand comes in. That's fine. Bring out the melody. This is a top note. But on page 31, let's look at this. Second line, you're down here. Second measure. You have a 4-5, that's fourth finger, substitute the fifth finger. We want to play the melody legato and we want to feel it. That's what we're after. It's used a lot in piano and I recommend you get good at it. Going on, third line down, it says slower. I don't like their fingering there in the eighth notes leading into the whole note on the slower. That's five, three, two, and then a one. This is awkward. So I recommend you do a five, four, three, and then you're there. Going on, and then it's third finger. Connect the melody, the top note. Last line, look at this. Again, another finger substitution, second measure. protect the melody and then the last row I'll, I'll get to the last couple of measures when I talk about the left hand. Speaking of left hand you have this pattern they're showing you. Hold the first note down, it's a half note. Even though the pedal's keeping everything going again you want to feel it with the fingers. And now going on to the second line they're telling you you can lift up and move. That's fine. Second line. Look at the last two measures. The right hand, you're sort of in a phrase here. They don't have the phrasing mark, but if you read the words, it's, it's like a sentence, part of a sentence. The last two measures. There's no break in that. It's all together. Even though you're not pedaling it, you're not pedaling it because you don't want to smear the eighth notes. Well, in the left hand, here, fingering it the way they're telling you to finger it, you're going to have a break in the left hand. I don't want a break in the left hand. I want it all connected here. So I'm recommending in the left hand, for the next to the last measure, you're here. For that B flat, use second finger if you can. And then use third finger on the F. You can use thumb on the B flat if you need to, but use third finger on the F. It's three, two, one, and then four or five or four. Ones. All I want to do is connect it with the hands, because the last line, first measure, same thing. Third finger on the second measure. I want to connect this and this, and I do it with the fingers. Page 31, first line, you're here. The pedal is coming up, but I don't want to break in the left hand. It's legato. All you're doing is lifting the pedal to release some of the sound. I'll get to that in a minute. The pedal comes later. Right now, keep the left hand legato throughout this. The first line of page 31.
legato as you can. Well, it's not totally, but do the best you can with it. Now, let's jump down to the bottom last two measures. Both hands, you're here. They're saying fourth finger. I use third finger on that first note in the left hand because I'm coming off of here. It's just third finger is there. It's, it's more convenient than fourth. I mean, if it were an E, not an F, I'd use fourth finger, but third finger. And then the right hand, you see the stems going up and down? So the left hand plays the first two, and the right hand is going to play the stems going up. That's an F, A, C. And then the left hand comes over to do the stems going down, and then the right hand does the last note. They have LH and RH, you don't need that because the stems will tell you what to do. Just make them even, you're here. You have to look down at the keyboard at it, but all you're doing is playing a one chord, a broken chord, so you should have that memorized. You glance at it and say, this is a one chord, and you don't need to look at the music anymore, you've got it. And that's pretty much this piece. Now let's add pedal to this mess. I have a few suggestions I like to make on the pedal. I always do, just about. This is very smooth and flowing, a gentle piece. This is something you can fall asleep to. Yeah. Legato pedal for the most part. Uh, again, I want to adjust it. At the beginning, it's just standard legato pedal. I'm going to push the notes down first, then the pedal. And then each time I change the pedal, I'm going to push the note down first, and then change the pedal. end of the first line I lift it up after I play that C. I'm not going to pedal that last couple beats. And then the next line same thing. And that's it for the most part. Top of page 31. I'll adjust it here just a little bit. First measure we're here. the first two beats in the second measure. I want to hear a break in the sound in the right hand. There's a different phrase. And then I can pedal after I play the third beats. And I'm going to hold the pedal down and legato pedal that. The last two beats I'm going to legato because the smear isn't so bad it's short. So I'm not worried about it. So the first three measures of the first line is this. Last measure I'm going to pedal the same as the second. I'm not pedaling the first two beats because I want to hear silence. It's, I'm going to lift the right hand. It's a different phrase. Here and then I'm going to pedal the second two beats auto pedal it going on because it's all it should all be connected it's all one phrase there now you may wonder then okay if you're pedaling those two measures in the first line that way are you going to pedal the second measure of the second line that way it's basically the same thing and the answer to that is no and that is because it's the last time it's happening and I'm going to change it up a bit. A lot of times in music, when they present a musical idea or something, a sex, whatever, a theme, a melody, something, many times, the last time they present it, they change it in some way. Well, this is the last time before we get to the slower. So I'm leaving the pedal down on here. So the second line is this way. just a little bit but in music it's the little bits that count. Third line down is legato until the second measure. I'm lifting it up when I play the C because these eighth notes need to be by themselves or most of them. The last two eighth notes are by themselves. The C is held down for the first one because it's a quarter note. And now we're slowing down and now we get this part. Again, lift the pedal like you did the first line. Pedal the same way. Last line, second measure. Lift the pedal up. After
can play the first beat. The second beat is by itself, the right hand. And then you push the pedal down. And I'm going to legato pedal it to the last measure. They say don't, but I, I legato pedal it. Then you lift the hands and the pedal at the same time after you get tired of holding on to the F. I will show you a little trick you can try with a pedal. Now this is for acoustic pianos. I don't think it works that well on, a, on electronic. If you have an acoustic piano at the end and you're playing that F and you have all these notes ringing out at the end and you're slowing down and you soften down and the sound is dying away, what you do is gently lift the note up. Don't lift the hand up, just the note up and then very slowly lift the pedal up. Let the dampers just gradually get down on the strings and what that will do to a well-regulated piano is it makes the sound die away. What you don't want to do if you can help it is to have a gentle soft piece in like that you get right at the end and then all of a sudden nothing. It's like well, what happened? So just gradually lift the pedal up. You lift the finger up first and then gradually lift the pedal up. Don't lift the hands up because that gives it away. You, want, you don't want them to notice you're not pushing the key down is what I'm saying. Leave your hand there and then gradually lift the pedal up until the sound dies away and then you can slowly lift it. It's a very effective. It really is. They don't give you a lot in the way of dynamics so you're going to have to kind of add the dynamics. They soft at the beginning and then when the right hand comes in it's medium loud that's the melody so you're going to keep the left hand soft and then there's a few crescendo or decrescendos but it's really up to you you can get a little louder and softer in places i'd like to play this slowly with you i'm not going to use a metronome because i want to do the slower and i can't do that with a metronome so i hate to say i'm going to perform it because i'm not really I don't know that I'm going to take it up to speed, although this is, what, Andante, Moderatos? It's kind of a, a casual Moderato, whatever that is, so something like this.